Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Like always, hope you guys got out in the sun, got a little little color on your skin, and just got some vitamin D and got that happy, <laughs> happy vitamins in you, and uh, you're able to just enjoy uh, and then spend some time with your loved ones because that's really you know we're here to hustle, we're here to we're here, we're here to have that drive, man. Like I've said over and over again, you got to have that balance so you can be who you want to be when you're in that professional setting. As always, we are sponsored by uh, HealthWest. These guys are great partners. They're great um, for our communities within Idaho. Uh, they are located in many different uh, cities throughout Idaho. So give them a Google, find out how they can help you, and give them a call. Um, man, I was just thinking uh, over the weekend and over um, the end, at end of last week, you know, I've always been this uh, extrovert uh, type person. Uh, and growing up, uh, when I was really young to you know, high school, I just loved being around people. Um, I love, uh, you know, feeling their vibe and then, and, and, and obviously their positivity. Um, so in high school, I had so many different friend group, friend, friend groups, um, where, you know, many of us, well, I'm, I'm sure we, many of us can relate that we had one, just one small group that we hung out with and that's all we hung out with. And, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong. Uh, with that, especially as we're as we're growing as as, as adolescents and uh, trying to uh, you know get through high school and or even college, but uh, for me, I just loved uh, getting to know new people, uh, seeing how what made them click, and uh, just having diff- different experiences. And not not uh, not to say that I'm I'm this perfect uh, person that just has all these experiences, but I've, that's just how I've been, um, and that's what. I, you know, led me to, you know, talked about what I'm talking about today. Um, you know, I'm going to entitle this, you know, are we, are we, you know, when in the 4th of July season, real quick, I guess, you know, you can, you can take, go back to the Joe Dirt movie. And if you've seen Joe Dirt, you know, this scene, but Joe Dirt's going to try to buy some, uh, some fireworks. Cause obviously he likes the, to blow stuff up. You know, he's that type of person. <laughs> Uh, in Idaho, you, you know, many of you can relate to this. I can relate to this. Um, and he goes in there and he's like, Hey, you know, I want some, I want some good stuff that goes boom, you know, and the guy, uh, kicking wing or whatever his name was, he said, I, I only carry snakes and sparklers. And Joe Dirt is like appalled. Like, are you kidding me? You're telling me you're going to stand there. <laughs> and you don't have any whistling bungles, whatever, you know, it's just crazy. What it goes off on a whole uh, list of things, you know, any something kitty chasers, like just funny. You seen, you know, I, I don't have to say it because you've all seen Joe dirt, you know, but what I'm getting at is, are we the type of person that is just when, it, if, if we were a fireworks stand, what are we offering? Who are we? Are we the type of person that just wants to have the snakes and sparklers and that's it? Or do we want to have some diversity? Uh, with what we offer and, and, and who we want to be around. Um, and I was, man, I just, I just been thinking a lot about this because diversity, diversity is directly correlated with uh, your success uh, financially, spiritually, uh, physically, and having different experiences make us just better people. Um, one of my new experiences I've just recently uh, started to have the last couple of weeks is I've started to work out with my wife, my spouse, uh, so she's my workout partner. And before that, I was just always lifting with these, the, you know, the me head type guys that are just, you know, you know, big, you know, ath- you know, athletic people that we just lift together. And there is no real talking going on. It's just, you're spotting me, make sure I don't die. That's how we're going to do it. But now I've got my wife with me, you know, we have some conversation and we, we are able to connect on a different level than we ever have. Uh, because we're lifting together, we're, we're we're working out together. And I think it's 
I've really enjoyed this experience because it's something different that I've never experienced up until this point. Um, just, that's just one experience. Um, what we can learn if, if we, if, if we broaden our, our, our sense of awareness, you know, and, and get to know other people around us and, and get to know, you know, their stories, their background, you know, and, and be, be inquisitive that we're trying to grow as, as people, you know, if, if you're, like we said, if you're, if you're only hanging out with one uh, group of friends, you know, and they always just talk about the same three or four or five ideas, you know, or the same subjects come up, you know, number one, what are those subjects? Are they, are, are those subjects helping you grow and develop? Obviously, if, if you're the type of person like me, I like to have fun. I like to laugh. So there's things that make me laugh, you know, and I, I appreciate that kind of thing. And I have friends that do that, you know, for me, and I hopefully can do that for them. But if you're not having uh, diverse conversations and and helping each other grow in different realms and ha- being being uh, vulnerable, I feel like sometimes enough with these people that you're with that you can open up and help them experience parts of you and and vice versa. I feel like I have those friends. Um, I have very successful friends as well as, as, as the means of financial uh, success. I've had, I have very successful friends in, in means of spiritual success. I have very uh, successful friends when it comes to physical success, you know, um, and mental success. And there's, and there's many of them that have a few of those uh, or, or some of them have many of those. So what I'm getting at is, don't be a snake, a snake and a sparkler. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're, in a, if you're going in a car and you're, you're getting picked up by an Uber driver. Are you the type of person that, that wants to talk and, and get to know their experiences in their lives? I love, you know, I love that kind of person. You know, um, I love that. I love, I love learning about people and, and, and what they're doing here and all that kind of stuff. Cause it, it does, it, it brings, uh, just a different, uh, experience into my life. And I feel like I'm, I'm blessed. To have that experience in my life because it, it broadens my mind of and how I think and how I view the world. Um, one of my experience uh, when I was 19 years old, uh, 2004-ish, uh, gives away my age, uh, I served a, a, a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And they sent me to Zimbabwe, Africa. Now, being a kid, that grew up in a small rural farm town, you know, and, you know, I, I got out a little bit, you know, we, we, I was able to travel. I used to, I saw New York. I, I saw a few things, you know, throughout uh, my, my adolescent uh, growing up period, but man, nothing prepared me for what I was going to experience when I landed in Africa, starting with landing on a landing strip in Zimbabwe with patches of grass poking up from the tar- the tarmac, uh, that was a, that was an experience number one thing and oh my goodness looking outside thinking am i going to find like a lion or a zebra running next to this plane you know what's what what am i supposed to expect you know i've only seen the africa that national geographic shows the mud huts all that kind of stuff so i'm thinking my goodness what am i here to to experience uh and i remember you know a couple of days in you know i met a i met another uh uh brother you know another elder you know, that was even from pocatello uh, from idaho and he'd been out for a while and i said man is this is this crazy is this is it living here is this is this experience uh going to be worth it and he's and he gave me some confidence and gave me some words of advice uh and once i you know got over the shell shock of wow this is africa uh, i i loved it um you know, obviously it took me a few months to kind of get in my rhythm but not having that experience, I really think it would have affected who I ended up being even today, uh, for sure. No questions asked. The things I was able to experience, uh, the extreme poverty, uh, and there's also extreme wealth in Africa. Uh, and, and being able to help people and being able to, you know, not just spiritually, but physically, you know, I built, I built houses out of uh, mud, mud, mud bricks pretty much because there's certain, uh, certain communities, that's all they had. Uh, and they'd rebuild their houses every year because after the rain seasons, uh, we did a lot of different projects like that. And the man that I felt like it molded me 
to to be is a better man am i am i just you know who i want to be currently no you know i know i've got a long ways to go uh as ed Milet says that you know I, I he feels like when you go to make, meet your maker he'll you know he always envisions that he's going to meet the 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 version of his, himself that he was supposed to to be uh that he was um designed to to be as he fulfilled his creation on this earth to be and he always says what a what a waste or what a what a a big downer that would be if you got up to that person and he was miles ahead of you or she was miles ahead of you um but how rewarding it would be if you got to that person and you were the same and i really believe getting to that point you need to have diversity in your life because it's going to help you in business you know how to deal and do do things in certain uh, situations these experiences are going to build you and help you uh, develop those skills and those communication uh, abilities uh, to, to be able to connect with people and to be able to put maybe deals together have certain experiences have literally helped me put real estate deals together or business deals together or you know i was able to buy this business because of this relationship like it's it's ex- the diversity and the experiences that are going to make you a better person uh, all the way around um man i hope i hope some of these things that i'm saying are, are going to be helpful for you guys uh, as you're as you're going throughout this week but uh man finding those those people and, and 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 getting yourself out of those shells you know and it's not it's not always you know, I'm not talking about, hey, you need to change yourself, but be a better version of yourself. Be, you know, continue to expound upon yourself. I'm not telling you to completely change yourself. Um, I, obviously, I talk about Ed Milad a lot because he's a, I think he's a stud in my mind. But he, he, you know, he dropped his son off to college. And he said, you know what, there's going to be different things coming to you. You're going to have so many different experiences and so many choices to be making in these next few years. Uh, but when someone comes and offers you, you know, drugs or alcohol or whatever it may be, you know, he, he asked them, you know, he told them to, to remember two different things. He said, remember, what kind of man are you and what do you stand for? As you are offered in, uh, these different things, as you are going to make different uh, decisions, always keep those two things in your mind. And I, it really resonated with me because that's how we can be throughout our lives. Like, you know, if if we need to change certain things, change them. Uh, if you like who you are and you like you know what how you, how things are going, great. Uh, but there's diversity will still help that. Um, but those two those two things to remember are huge. I believe. What kind of man or woman are you, and what do you stand for? And I think that will you know, keep us uh, in, in a constant guidance uh, as we as we move forward and as we uh, strive to uh, better ourselves. So hopefully. You know, you guys are able to get something out of this today. And sometimes I feel like I ramble, but we'll, we'll, you know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, in closing, uh, we are, I also have to mention, we are sponsored by my company, New Clean Commercial Cleaning. Uh, we are here uh, from pretty much Burley all the way to Rexburg to help you with your janitorial needs. And if we can be a fit for you, great. If we're not a fit, no problem. If you don't like the colors of my eyes or even the you know, type, of, uh, type of people we are, that's fine. Because we're all we're we're here to serve people that are that are going to share our values. Um, give us a call at 208-254-7070. Uh, the home of the we're not perfect guarantee. Um, but in closing, go out there, guys, kill it, find different ways to have those experiences, and be happy, be grateful, and find opportunities to serve others. Till then, till next episode, you guys go out there and dominate. Enjoy. And uh, have a great night. See ya. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are. 